What's up Office Pranksters? Today we're going to learn how to make the Hello My Name Is sticker in Adobe Illustrator. This is pretty much the design that we want to end up with and we're going to uh, prepare this for print. So let's just go ahead and start a new file. Let's go to File New. These are the presets that you want. I'm going to type Hello My Name Is. Hello My Name Is. Um, so yeah, for the width we want 3.5 inches. If you don't see inches, you can hit this drop down box and click it there. So yeah, 3.5 by 2.5 height. And yeah, we don't need any bleed for the color mode. Let's choose CMYK. We're choosing CMYK because we plan to print this. If you're just making like an Instagram or just a digital image, choose RGB. Okay, so you should have an artboard that looks like this. Um, the first thing that I want to do is just create a red rectangle for the background. So I just want to go here to swatches. If you don't see swatches, you can just go to window and just find swatches. And yeah, uh, we want to select this fill and let's choose red. Let's just choose the CMYK red. And for the stroke, we want to choose none. So this is what we want to see. And now we want to go to the rectangle tool. You can hit M on your keyboard. So we're going to select that tool. And instead of clicking and drawing a rectangle like that, let's just click. We don't have to click the center. We can just click anywhere. And we're going to see this dialog box so we can type in the dimensions. So we want to type the same dimensions of the artboard. 3.5 by 2.5 inches. We can just click and drag this to the center. So yeah, we want to have something that looks like this. Um, if you look in, in my original, we see the, the corners are rounded just a little bit. So let's just click into those. Um, you can drag the corners like this, but another way to do it is you can go to Properties, and if you don't see that window, you can just go to Window and Properties, and it'll pop up. And you should, should see a Transform panel. If you click More Options, you'll get uh, more options uh, to mess with the rectangle, and you can mess with the quarter corner radius, not quarter radius. Let's try that. You can mess with the corner radius. Bam, got it. Um, make sure um, all these are linked, and we can type in manually uh, the dimensions that we want. So I want 0.15. Then we can click, and you can see it updates all of the corners uh, to that. Oh, excuse me. I, I want 0.125, not 0.15. There we go. It's a minor difference, but yeah, that's what we're looking for. So yeah, it's going to look kind of like this. And uh, now all we want to do is have the white rectangle that appears here kind of go across the bottom. So again, we're going to go to the rectangle tool. And in our swatches panel, we're going to change the fill to white. And just like we did before, we're just going to click just somewhere to get that dialog box. Okay, and we want the same width because we want it to stretch all the way across the artboard. And for the height, we want 1.25. So you should have something that looks like this. So yeah, I think that looks good. You can kind of play with the position of this if you want to do something exact. If you want it exactly like I am going to um, position mine, you can go over here to properties again. And for the X, value put 1.75 and for the Y put 1.7 so that's gonna make it go exactly there so it, yours should look exactly like mine if you type that in okay and now we just want to type the actual text the hello my name is so what we're going to do is we're gonna go to the type tool you can hit T on your keyboard and let's just click somewhere yeah, just somewhere like that. And let's just type hello, all caps. Okay. What we want to do is make this a big, bold font. So I'm going to go to my fonts and choose Arial Black. And let's go ahead and make this 50 point. You can change that here. All right. Let's just drag it to the center. Oh, well, it's not giving me um, a way to drag it. It's not showing me exactly center. So what we're going to do is let's just um, have it just off to the side. We can go down here to align. Make sure 
you're aligned to artboard and hit align horizontal center. And again, you can go, if you want to have mine exactly the position that I'm going to put mine, you can go here back to properties and go to the Y value and put in 0.45. So it should be X 0.175, Y uh, 0.45. And let's change this to white finally. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. So now we want the my name is uh, under this. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste. Just hit edit, copy, or you can hit command C. And then we can go edit. Let's just paste in front. So now we should have two copies of this hello. Um, let's go ahead and change the size of this to 20 point. We can go ahead and recenter it as well. Drag it up a little bit. And I'm just going to write my name is. How did, is it all caps in that one? Yeah, let's, I did it all caps. So let's just go ahead and do it all caps in this one too. And we'll center it. It's a little bold, so I'm just going to go to Arial. I'm going to choose Arial Bold for the font on this one. So I chose Arial, and we just went to Bold. And I, I could have just done the Align Center in the paragraph. There we go. Now, now it's now it's centered. And anytime, I, if I want to change the size or anything of this, it'll always be centered now. Okay, so let's let's keep it at twenty point. And again, I'll, I'll just manually put in um, some x and y values. Let's keep one point seventy five. That's centered. And for the y, let's pick point nine. Oops, there we are. All right, very minute difference. And uh, that's pretty much it. Um, from here, um, you can add your own text here. I'm just going to put cool guy. Let's change it to marker fill. So yeah, you can make like custom designs or if you just wanted to leave them blank and uh, print them. If you're like having an office party and when you get drunk, you can't remember your coworkers' names. Or if you're like a graffiti artist and uh, you just want to make something and you're just out of ideas you just need to make some kind of design to put stuff on the streets uh, this is what you want to do and yeah from here you can uh, go to export let's just export a PDF oh <laughs> I'm dumb so let's not go to export let's just go to save as there we go and this is where it has a PDF look at me not knowing so we're just gonna hello my name is PDF let's save it And that's it. Let's go open it. And here you are. So you can get these printed. Um, send those to a printer. Um, they shouldn't have any issue. Um, and yeah, do whatever you want to do with those. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Um, I just made it to 500 subscribers um, earlier this week. So I really appreciate that, everyone. Um, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment. Let me know what other videos you want to see. But thanks for watching, for real. All right, bye.